YouTube decided I'm no longer allowed to use the music in my intro, so now, until I find another one, you're stuck with my voice. What is up guys, this is Alinthio, coming at you with an updated version of my Heretics. So yeah, the new April 1st ban list has come out, and Heretics got slightly hit. So this is just going to be a very quick update for you guys, so you can see my build. So, as usual, it doesn't change, we have the three Tefnwits. We have the three Sue. I'll just run through these very quickly. We have the three Nebthet, and then finally we have the three Asset. <clears throat> and these are just kind of the standard heretics you run. Uh, you run three of them uh, of each just because it makes more sense and you can get to them quicker. Uh, then we have the Vanillas. We have one Cursor Dragon, one Labradorite Dragon, and one Wattel Dragon. Uh, Cursor Dragon just enables you for rank 5 plays, and the rank 5 uh, that I have in here are just crazy good, so there's no reason not to abuse them. Uh, then we have the one Red Eyes. Red Eyes is just a boss, you know, if you have him in your hand you can make plays for days. You can get him with Atom and bounce him with M7 and all oh, the plays. Then we have one Dragard. Dragard has made a significant return to this deck because I've just been testing more with it and it's been doing well. It's, it's, it's got back on my good books. So I put Dragard back in because I have a space, thanks to uh, Convocation going to do. Uh, and then finally, um, well, penultimately, we have three Cargard T for the speed. I've still got the Hobening aspect of the deck in here. Um, Heretics were doing upstarts and recklesses and car cars for a long time, way before the Hobening term came around anyway. So it's just kind of maximizing on that. Um, and yeah, and then the final two monsters are two Effect Veiler, just because Effect Veiler is really good this format. You don't run Fiendishes in here because the deck's too quick, so Effect Veiler works and also it means you can make uh, Black Rose plays. So then going on to the spells, we have three upstarts for all the speeds that we can possibly get. Because giving them 3,000 life points doesn't matter. Uh, we then have three Mystical Space Typhoon because we don't like back row and we want our plays to go off. Uh, we then have two uh, Wing Beat because, again, we don't like back row and we want our plays to go off. Uh, the amount of people you can scare uh, into thinking you've got this so they don't actually set everything they want. And then you can actually just go off quicker with a uh, single or two MST. Um, and when they actually do commit to the board, it's unlikely they're going to be able to stop it unless they stop the summon of the monster. And then we have two Convocation because it's been hit, it's now semi-limited. Um, it doesn't really affect our consistency that much, especially considering the version I'm running. Um, it does mean that you only, you know, you have one less Heretic technically in the deck, but it's still good. Like, two's fine. Like, it, it was two previously, and then it went to three, and then it went to two again, so whatever. And then the final spells are two Forbidden Lands. Sorry about the lighting, don't know what was going on there. Um, so yeah, Forbidden Lance is just really good. I was thinking of putting it to three, but I'll just keep it at two for now. Testing has been fine. Then going on to the six traps I run. I run three traps done still because I don't like back row. And uh, it's just amazing. And then the three reckless because reckless is also amazing. Yeah, we just want to draw all the cards. Just want to draw all the cards. Um, as quickly as we can so we can OTK as quickly as possible. So then going on to the extra, we have two King uh, of Atom. Uh, I only run two. Um, I did an explanation why I only run two in previous videos, but just as a recap, the reason why is because I feel that I don't really need the third if I want to kill my opponent, otherwise I'm just overextending. Um, if I normally get two Atoms out, I've probably won because it just means I can, I'm putting a lot of damage on board. Uh, and my opponent would have probably stopped me by then. And if they haven't stopped me, it's probably because I've already popped their back row with the Sues and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, and I, I never really went into the third, so that's why I run two. Then we have three Gaia Charger. Car's just amazing. Um, he just enables your OTKs so much, and it means that you can just push through Veilers. Uh, then we have the one M7, because M7 is amazing. Uh, the one Photon Strike Bouncer, because there are some times where you need to do grind games. Uh, the one Gauntlet Launcher, because he is basically a built-in OTK on his own. <laughs> uh, and then the one Sword Breaker, because I don't like Bujins. So I would like to see them try and drop Crane um, in front of me. And it just won't work, because Sword Breaker will kill him first. Uh, then going on to level 5, so we have Tyrius. Uh, we have a number 61 Volcosaurus, because that enables OTKs. 
And we have a Sharp Fortress because this is the king of OTKs. Then going on to the three synchros that I play. Play Star Eater because Star Eater is just really good. Um, you can, you know, do him with level dragon and a level 5. We then have the one Trident Dragon for the Dragog play. And then the final one is the Black Rose for the Effect Veiler play. So that is it, guys. I told you it would be very quick. Um, I don't really don't think I need to do much discussion on Heretics unless I change the deck around completely. Just because I have done these for so long and so many videos have been up with explanations. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I shall catch you guys later.